A last point that I would like to mention is be honest, number one, and be rational, number two, in the biodata form. Why do we say this? Honesty is very important in the biodata form because they want to get the real side of you. They don't want to get the fake side of you. They don't want to, they don't want to see a side of you that does not exist in reality. That's why you need to be honest. You need to be rational because you're an adult, mature human being and you are aspiring to enter an organization where you will have immense responsibilities, where your actions can have implications on the entire economy, on the entire financial market, on the entire rural sector. And therefore, whatever you write has to be completely rational. What do we mean by rational? Rationality means the ability of a person to see both the sides, positive sides, side and the negative side, and then answer the question of the, and then come to a conclusion. If somebody asks you, for example, uh, let's say, should kids be allowed to wear whatever dress they want, whatever uniform they want to the schools, uh, just like it happens in the US, should we allow that? Now, a reactive person who is not rational will say, no, it should not happen in India because we have a certain history of creating uniforms and it creates uniformity and therefore we should have it. Another person who wants to criticize it will say, we are, we are a developing country, we do not have these kind of liberties. Uh, if we allow them to wear whatever they want to, it will give them the freedom to decide. So we should have it. That's why US is US and India is India. That's why they are so far ahead of us. These are reactions. On the other hand, a rational person will say, okay, let's try and have a look at the advantages of allowing uh, kids to wear whatever they want to and the disadvantages or the problems that might arise. He will try and talk about both the things and then he'll come to a conclusion. That's a rational person. That conclusion is also not his opinion, but based upon analysis of the advantages and disadvantages.